Venture deep into the Arctic Circle and you find Svalbard. There's no place quite like it. And here, a struggle for survival. Climate change is on fast forward. Polar explorer Hilda Farmstrom wants to show us how her world is disappearing. Soon, an incredible sight, but one framed with sadness. To survive as a polar bear now, I think you have to be super good at hunting because it, the main source of food, the seals, they are diminishing and the ice that both the seal and the polar bears are dependent on are diminishing. It's getting less and less ice. This Norwegian archipelago is warming six times faster than the global average. There's much less ice here to reflect heat and more exposed ocean to absorb it. And these beluga whales, they're swimming in water that's much hotter than it used to be. And all wildlife here in Svalbard is having to adapt to this hotter world. You can hear them now. It's hotter in the water and it's hotter in the air too. Melting here raises sea levels and affects weather patterns across the globe. In what is the northernmost settlement in the world, it's life on the edge. Houses are being moved and rebuilt. New barriers installed to stop more avalanches triggered by the thawing ground. Wherever I look around us, I see change. And leading polar scientist Kim Holloman tells us the war in Ukraine is now undermining the efforts to understand climate change. The official uh, exchange with um, Russian institutions is not possible at this time. Half of the Arctic is uh, Russian uh, coastline. And if we are unable to share knowledge and data, it will hamper our ability to understand what is happening. It will. Uh, we need each other in order to do good science. Svalbard attracts tens of thousands of visitors every year, putting further strain on this fragile environment. But the authorities claim they're moving towards renewable energy. Now we are in the, one of the two production sites we have here in mine number seven. We are eight kilometers in the mine. This is Svalbard and Norway's last coal mine, which we're told is due to close. It makes me sad. It was a mining town and uh, now it's coming to an end. It's more and more of a tourist town. But just a fortnight after our visit, the state-owned company announces it's delaying the closure. Why? It says Europe's energy crisis now makes the mine a more profitable operation. If they can't give up fossil fuels in the fastest warming place on Earth, what hope for the rest? The UN says we face a climate emergency. The alarm is sounding. We ignore it at our peril. Nick Beek, BBC News, in the Arctic Circle.